where today we're gonna do the F1 mod. We're gonna swap out these ugly ass pedals. Where is my upshift for these nicer ones? Be a hell of a lot nicer. No more thumb buttons. We're also gonna do the F1 wiring mod. We're gonna pull this airbag out. I've already disconnected the uh, negative terminal. And then we're gonna swap two wires over here so this becomes a pull to upshift versus both of them being pushed with a thumb button. No more thumb buttons. So this is gonna be the right side. And this is gonna be, whoops, wrong side. This is gonna be the left side over here. So let's get to it. Go around the side, we're gonna find this little hole. Where is it? Shooting into the light I know is a bad idea. There it is. Right there, that little hole. I'm gonna put the punch in here. So I'm using as a punch. You can use anything around the same thickness. You don't wanna use a paper clip, it's not gonna be rigid enough. Something that can fit in here, I would say it's about an eighth of an inch. It's gonna push. I'm gonna push on the retainment clip. Oh, where is it? There it is right there, feel it. You're gonna push on this little spring clip, and then we're gonna pull on this. Now we're gonna do the other side. Just gonna have to feel it. Oh, that's not it. Not feeling the clip over here on this side. I think I found it. There it is. Okay. And then we're gonna pull that off. These clips right here, this little white part on the back side. Do the same thing over here. Try not to break things. This is an airbag and that's why we disconnect the battery. So this doesn't go off when it's not supposed to. You know what I mean? Squeeze the little connectors. There we go. Gonna squeeze these little connectors on the side. It'll be obvious when you're looking at it. Squeeze, pull up. Set the bomb off to the side. We're gonna start on the difficult one first because I want to do it as soon as possible. Uh, there's a connector back here. This is the brown connector we're gonna be switching the wires on, which is the brown and purple sitting right there. But right now we need to get the shifter out first and that's gonna take a T20 Torx bit. These two Torx bits should be able to remove this. Then I can see this is your standard type of connector. I'm gonna push this tooth down and pull it out. If I have any trouble, I'll update you, and then we'll move on to the uh, the irrelevant one. We're not going to do any wiring over here. This stays as is. Let's see what we got. There's a connector. Nothing special on this one. It looks like push down the tooth right here. Should slide out or not. Be a douche. Probably want you to. There it goes. Yeah, you got to push it really far down. So here's our first connector. Now we got to transfer this assembly to the paddle shifter. That's working. I'm definitely going to need a smaller one going inside because I did watch one video. The reason I'm making this one is because the video was dark and it was hard to see and some things were skipped. This is just holding the back assembly. There it is. Okay. Set that off to the side. Here's the shitty part. We have to get this paddle out of this housing, and the only way to do that is to pry. This is all plastic right here. But you can see where this paddle connects. There's these hinges. That's where it is. That's where it pivots. We need to pop these out of their housings to get this out. If you break this, you're, you're fucked. Do not break these. I'm going to do this on camera. This is my first time doing this but I just wanted to make a little better video that people can see. It's terrifying. Something just shot out and I'm glad I caught it. A pin and a spring shot right into my hand. Now we have full access to both the screws. Let's go ahead and take those out. It looks like I don't have to go get a little smaller screwdriver because now I have room. So let's take these out. Nothing. Okay. Set this aside. Go whoop. Right back into place. That is snug as fuck. So we got this screwed back on. The top side of the paddle is going to be where this little cylinder is. Now that little thing that shot on me earlier, the spring and the stud is what gives you that click so that has to go back in 
We're gonna start with that. Spring. We'll just call this the bullet. Okay, good, it'll actually sit in there. Be fucking careful. Sorry about the language, but okay, there's one. Okay, let's see if we can get push down and pull him this way and help with the other one. It just wants to pop out again. Okay, I'm pushing tension down this way where the pin is already set in place. It's not even all the way in the hole yet, so we're going to put a slight tension on it. Whew, come on. That's back in spot. That's back in its spot. You ever just feel like you're forgetting something all the time? Okay, don't force anything on this. There we go. Just be careful. So we're gonna put these screws back in. Okay, <clears> the <throat> assembly should be back together. Right. So what I got is a cotter pin I bent out straight. Um, you can use a paper clip uh, if you want to do this. But I need something very thin and flat to get in here to release this pin. So we're going to give that a try. Here is this wire here. This plug naturally is through this hole and that's what plugs in to the paddle shifter. Right? The purple and uh, brown wire, that's the two outside wires, are what we're going to be switching. I pulled out the front retainer on this. You can do that if you want, you just need to be exceptionally careful. It's about this big. And all I did was use my pick tool here. And I grabbed the bottom of it that was in this little slot right there. And I just pulled forward and was manipulating these little teeth on the side where it locks into place. On the side, there we go. It was locked into that. And it popped out. Luckily it didn't break, but I should have done it a little different way. But right now I need to release these pins. There's these plastic pins that, if you look at it from the side where these, these metal pins are sitting here, there's this plastic pin kind of facing like, uh, well, let's see. It's coming up from the bottom. And it's kind of like this. And it's holding the pins from sliding back by this little tooth facing up. We need to push that down so the pin can slide out. Got it, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, I was really gently pushing down that clip, but there's one pin. Let's see if we can go for two. There that is. Let's hope I didn't break it, did I break it? Oh, I still see them facing upward in there. I'm pretty much just gonna push until we feel that click. There it is. Click. There you go. Grab the white retainer. Like that. As it was. Okay. I put this one in first, I shoved the bolt all the way through and started threading it. And then I went to the second one. Now I'll snug them up and we'll move on to the next one. I'm gonna do this one. Same thing we did this one, except for the F1 mod, you're not going to be messing with wiring. That's the That was the most difficult one, that's why I did it first. So we're going to do this one. There's one screw there. There's another right there. Got the other paddle off. Let's see if I can do it in my hand. Okay. There's the bullet. Now we're on the back side. Two screws. Oot, as the Canadians say. Down. Next. Spring. Bullet. Okay. 
This is now going to be a shift up when you pull back. This will remain a shift down. Now, of course, you can still shift up by pushing this forward. Not, nothing you can do about it unless you're a master programmer. And this one will be now shifting down if you press on it. But when the whole point of doing this was not to worry about any of that. The whole point of doing this was to make this a pull to upshift and a pull to downshift, keeping them each on their own side. Let's put everything back together real quick, and I'm going to show you how to fix your windows because you disconnected the battery. Okay, these are color-coded. Pink, pink, white, white. Be careful. If you have not disconnected your battery, I wish you the best of luck at doing this. Because you're probably going to get a crotch full of airbag. Be easy for it to click. And press down your safety tab. Same with the second one. Mic goes in. Make sure it clicks. Then press in your safety tab show you this real quick before we go any further. Punch, this is what we did last time. I believe this helps people understand or it might actually help feel for what you're doing. There's the hole right down there, here's the punch going in. I'm pushing on these little rods. Grab the rod, you gotta find it though. Right there, you see that rod moving? That is re what releases this rod from letting, from holding on to these right here, right there. So this is just honestly, it's gonna be a press in and lock. That is why we use the punch, just so everybody can understand. It's in. That's what the finished product should look like. Now it should be upshift and downshift. All right. I figured I'd include this in the video because it's kind of important. We're going to re-index the windows, otherwise your windows will not index themselves, meaning roll up properly when the door is closed. Start the car. Alright. I'm gonna wait for it to cycle. Done with your bullshit yet? Okay, we're gonna re-index the windows. Raise. When it hits the top, hold. That should be indexed. Next one, raise. Hold, two to three seconds. back down and hold Go all the way down hold all right a little troubleshooting thing the paddles were not working when I finished so I'm telling y'all now um, be careful when you're running the wires through here because the metal bracketry that's back there so I'm gonna run to uh, the auto parts store I'm going to buy a 2 amp mini fuse. If you need to find this, it's your cruise control fuse. Uh, the paddles pull power from the cruise control circuit. It's down here in the foot well, right down in there. And I'll show you where it is later, but I'm going to go replace this fuse and make sure it works. If it blows again, then I got a short somewhere in here and I got to fix it. Right, here's the fuse. It's right down here at the bottom. I'll plug that in. Hopefully that fixes our issue. I'm trying to hurry up. There's a woman talking to herself. Come on, my way. <laughs> Alright, here we are. It did work. Put this back in the drive, back in the sport. And let's see if you can see the hood. I'm going to push the downshift button. One, two, three. It won't go any higher, obviously, because I'm not moving, but down. Going back on this one over here. Two, three. All works. Awesome. I really hope this works for you guys. Please pass it along or help somebody out. Um, again, if you have any problems with it not working after you finish, maybe you touched a wire, maybe you pissed it off. I don't know what you did. But you're going to look down there in the footwell. It just folds back. You'll see how the row of fuses. It's in the bottom center in the middle. It's a, a two amp, and that's all you need to do. Take care, guys. Good luck and enjoy your mod.